Now we have the last exercise, exercise 6.5. Question number one says sides of triangle are given below. Determine which of them are the right triangles. In case of a right triangle, write the length of its hypotenuse. Now you have uh, the three sides of a triangle are given. Like for example, in the first case, 7 cm, 24 cm, 25 cm. You just take the longest side, that is 25 do the square, and do the square of the rest of the sides as well. Now check whether Pythagoras term is satisfied or not. If it is satisfied, then it's a, these are the sides of the right triangle. If it is not satisfied, these are not the sides of the right angle triangle. In case these are the sides of the right angle triangle, then mention hypotenuse uh, of that very triangle. So this is very easy question. I leave this question to you guys. Uh, then question number two, PQR is a triangle right angle at P and M is the midpoint on QR such that PM is perpendicular to QR. Show that PM square is equal to QM times MR. See also your question number two. PQR is a triangle right angle at P. PQR is a triangle right angle at P. And M is a point on QR. M is a point on QR such that PM is perpendicular to QR. Show that PM square is equal to QM times M. See, given. So what is given? Triangle PQR right angle at P in which PM is perpendicular to QR. I think you've got what we need to do that it's uh, we, we will use term 6.7 that in a right angular triangle perpendicular is drawn if a perpendicular is drawn from the right angle to the hypotenuse then the two triangles so formed are similar to each other and both of the triangles are similar to the whole triangle. To prove what you are going to prove is pm square is equal to qm times mr qm times mr now see in triangle pqr since pm is perpendicular to PM is perpendicular to QR. <coughs> Let us go like this again. Form those three cases. Establish three cases. Like this. Number two, like this. Just like this. See, this one is Q, P, R as such. Second also Q, P, R. Now first one Q and Q is matching from this triangle and both triangle. So Q and Q is matching. So make Q here and then write it degrees at M. So I have Q and P. Got it? Then for this one, writing this triangle, writing that is at M. And here... I think is that three. So common is R. So here you need to take R. Then it's R M P. P is here. Now here common is Q. Here common is R. Now this triangle is this triangle P M Q. And this triangle is R M P. Now you have, you need to prove P M square is equal to Q M times M R. Now that means you need to look for PM, QM and MR. Now consider those triangles in which you get these sides QM, MR and PM. So we have, let's look for PM. PM is here, PM is here, PM is here. So PM is in all three cases. Now look for QM. QM is here. QM is 
not in the second case. So second case we need not to consider the second case because we have to deal with QM and QM is not present in the second case. Now MR. Now here QM is present, QM is present. Now MR. MR is not in the first case, but MR is in this case. MR is not here. You got it? No side is MR in this case. So deleting this case as well. So we are left with this case. So that means we need to use this case only. You got that one? Okay. Since PM is perpendicular to QR, this is given, which implies that. Then what can I say? I'll use this. Then, which implies that triangle P and Q, P and Q is similar to triangle R and P. And reason is that perpendicular in a right angle, right triangle here. You got it? Which implies that. If that is the case, that triangle this is similar to triangle this, then sides would be in proportion. So I'll take PM by PM by RM or RM I can write MR. Well, the same thing, RM is MR. There's no problem in that. Is equal to MQ, I'll write QM. QM by PM. Then I'll write the F4 across one. This is CPST corresponding parts of similar triangles. Across multiplication, so you'll get PM square is equal to QM times MR. So you are done. Hence, proved. Got that one? Now, after this, we have. Question number 3, it is exactly same as question number 2, so I'll leave it for you. Now question number 4, question number 4 says ABC is an isosceles triangle, right angle at C. So we have right angle at isosceles triangle. So this triangle is right angle as well as isosceles. Right angle at C and triangle's name is ABC. ABC is an isosceles triangle, right angle at C. If it's isosceles and right angle, that means this side is equal to this side. This side cannot be equal to this or this because it's hypotenuse. It's not. It must be the la longest side. Prove that AB square is equal to twice AC square. Quite easy. Given. So what is given? Triangle ABC. A right angle at C in which AC is equal to BC to prove. We need to prove AB square is equal to twice AC square. In triangle A C B since A B square is equal to A C square plus B C square. Since this is a right angle triangle, so I can apply Pythagoras term here. Applying Pythagoras term, I get A B square is equal to A C square plus B C square, which implies that A B square is equal to A C square plus now B C. Replace B C by A C. AC square and write down as AC is equal to BC. Got it? Therefore, AB square is equal to AC square plus AC square is twice AC square. Hence, root. You make a note.
Then question number 5. ABC is an isosceles triangle with AC is equal to BC. If AB square is equal to AC square, prove that ABC is a right triangle. That is the converse of previous question, question number 4. I will leave this question to you guys. Now question number 6. Again an important question. ABC is an equilateral triangle with side twice A. Now ABC is an equilateral triangle with side twice A. Got it? Find each of its altitude. You need to find the altitude of this triangle. Now remember one thing, an altitude of an equilateral triangle is the median of it. Got it? And it's angle bisector as well of the equilateral triangle. Okay. So, and all the altitudes of equilateral triangle are equal. So if you find one of the altitudes, that's it. That means you are done. So let's say this is D. Let me name this as D. So this whole length is twice A. Just like this. Just like this. What? Right. Since this is altitude and this is median as well. So what about BD? BD is twice A by 2. That means it's A. Okay. Give. What is given now? Equilateral triangle ABC with side twice A. With side twice A in which AD is perpendicular to BC. What you are going to find, you need to find the length of AD. So AD like this. Then let's have the solution. <coughs> Since an altitude of equilateral triangle is also its median, is also its median, therefore I can say BD is equal to A. BD is equal to A. Or I can write BD is equal to half of BC. That is half of A. That is A by half of twice A. That is A. You got it? So BD is A. Then in triangle. ATB then in triangle ATB applying Pythagoras theorem which implies that AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square to so solve this that will give you your result which implies that AB square AB is twice A so twice A square is equal to BD is A square plus AD square this is 2 to 4 A square minus A square transpose this here AD square this is thrice A square is equal to AD square that will give you thrice a square and the radical is equal to ad since it's a distance of considering the positive value only therefore ad is equal to square root 3 square root 3 square root a square and square root gets cancelled so a 
So you have a times square root 3 unit. That's your answer. Make a note. Question number 7, it says in figure, let me make the figure, Now it says O is the point in the interior of the triangle ABC, O D is perpendicular to BC, O E is perpendicular to AC, and O F is perpendicular to AB. You need to prove this thing. See. ABC triangle ABC in which in which OD is perpendicular to BC OE is perpendicular to AC and OF is perpendicular to AB You need to put two results. Number one, OA square plus OB square plus OC square minus OD square minus OE square minus OF square is equal to AF square plus B D square plus C D square and number two you need to put F square plus B D square plus C D square is equal to A D square plus C D square plus BF square. You need to prove these two big results. And let us have a construction. Join OA, OC, and OB. Join OA, OB, and OC. This is your construction. Now, proof. <coughs> Let us first consider this triangle. O 
a o e a o a square how they come from this triangle i need to consider see we have now one two three four five six triangles i'll first consider this triangle well first consider this because I need to get to OA square, so I'll get OA square from here because all these triangles are right angle triangles. If you observe, right angle triangle, right angle triangle, these are all right angle triangles. So I'll first consider this triangle where I put 1 uh, from by applying Pythagoras, from I'll get somehow OA square. Got it? You might ask, OA square we can also get from this triangle, but here we have AF and we don't look at AF. Uh, here we have OF also. Then I'll consider this triangle. I will get, I will get OA and I'll get AF square as well and OF square. I don't require OF square anywhere. You see, yes, I have. Sorry, I need to consider this triangle because I have OA square. AF square I'll get, so AF square is here, I need AF square, OF square, I need OF square as well. Had it been the case that I would have taken this triangle, uh, OEA, because I'll get OA here, I'll get AE, I don't require AE anywhere, you see, do I, no, no way. So AE is not required in the first part. That's the reason I'm not taking this triangle first. And I'm, hence I'm uh, uh, taking this triangle because all the three sets are included in the uh, to be proved list. Got it? So that's why we'll use first this one. Then using the same logic, I'll use this one. Then use this one. So go alternatively. See, for the second one, for the this for this triangle OFB, I'm not required BF anywhere. See, that's why I leave this and I use this OB OD and BD OB OD. Using the same pattern, so I go for this triangle. Then I'll use these remaining triangles four, five, and six. So using this logic. Let us solve one by one. Then let's use this triangle first. Consider triangle OFA. OFA. Applying Pythagoras. This implies that. Pythagoras from right angle, right angle is here, so opposite sense hypotenuse OA square is equal to OF square plus OF square plus AF square. <coughs> OA square is equal to OF square plus AF square. Then for two, or just write like this. Just write like this. It will be easy for you. Consider triangle. Right like this, applying PGT applying PG3 PGT in triangle one through triangle six. So applying PGT in all these cases, what you'll get? You'll get 
uh, offers just apply in 1, 2 and 3. Applying PGT in triangle 1, triangle 2 and triangle 3. We will obtain. What we, what we will obtain? Uh, in triangle 1, we have OA square is equal to OF square plus AF square. Then for triangle 2, OB square is equal to OD square plus BD square. It's simple Pythagoras form. Then in triangle 3, I have OC square. OC square is equal to OB square plus C square. Got that one? Now adding all these, adding these equations, what you get? OA square plus OB square plus OC square is equal to OF square plus AF square plus OD square plus BD square plus OE square plus CE square. Got that one? Therefore, you have OA square plus OB square plus OC square. Then you can write minus OD. Now transpose this. So you get minus OD square. Then transpose OD. Transpose this one. So you get minus OD square. Then transpose OL. So you get minus O F square. And what's left right on that? A F square plus B D square plus C square. And by this we are done. <coughs> Entering the first result. You see? It's exactly the same. This was the first part. Now let's do second part of it. Now, See, uh, applying PGT in triangle 4, triangle 5 and triangle 6. What will get? 4, 5 and 6. O is square. OA square is equal to OE square plus AE square. Got it? Then for fifth one, OB square is equal to OF square plus BF square. Then for the th uh, sixth one, OC square is equal to OD square plus CD square. Got that one? Okay. <coughs> now after that, did you find A here? Let us find here P E which implies that if O A square is equal to O E square plus A E square then A E square is equal to O A square minus O E square. Simple. Similarly here find B F square that is O B square minus O F square. Similarly here C D square is nothing but O C square minus OD square. You got this one? Yes. Now, so you just proved this thing. So write down that. Write right hand side first. AF square plus 
BD square plus CE square is equal to OA square plus OB square plus OC square minus OD square minus OE square minus OF square. Proved in first. You already, already proved this result. square plus BD square plus CE square is equal to this thing. We proved it in uh, first. Now pay attention. OA square minus OE square. OA square minus OE square. OA square minus OE square. It's nothing but E square plus. Now OB square minus OF square. OB square minus OF square. That's B F square. Then plus OC square minus OB square. That's CE square. Therefore, we get proved about it. Two? Okay. And we are done. F square plus B D square plus C square is equal to A square plus C D square plus B F square. C D square plus B F square is B F square plus C D square. That's one of the same thing. Hence, two. Take a note.
we have question number 8 D and E are points on side C and C B respectively of triangle in C right angle at C we have a right angle triangle right angle at C so A B C D and E are points on the side C and C B D is a point on C A let's see here it's D and E is a point on C B E is on C B somewhere so let us say it's here Got it? Then it says prove that AE squared. AE squared is this thing. BD squared. Or BD squared, I need to join this. Is equal to AB squared plus DE squared. For DE squared, I need to join this. Got it? What is given? Triangle ABC, a right angle at C, a right angle at C, in which D and E are points on on C A and C B respectively. C A and C B respect to to prove you are going to prove a e square plus b d square is equal to a b square plus d e square Where can I get A E square? In triangle A C E. Got it? Applying B G T in triangle A C E and triangle B D is in D C B. D C B. So for A C E, by the term is A E square is equal to A C square plus C E square. And for D C B, it's B D square is equal to C D square plus B C square. Having these equations, what do you get? Which implies that you get A E square plus B D square is equal to AC square plus CE square plus CD square plus BC square. Isn't it? Therefore, AE square plus BD square is equal to. Now see, AC square AC square plus and this doesn't do this one AC square plus BC square AC square plus BC square that's nothing but AB square AB square plus now this one CE square plus CD square CE square plus CD square that's nothing but DE square D 
d square using PGT in triangle ACB and triangle D square that is DCE. So you got the result. Yes. Make a note. Now the last question of this chapter, again very 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 important question, in an equilateral triangle ABC, we have an equilateral triangle ABC, well D is a point on side BC such that BD is equal to 1 by 3 BC, D is a point somewhere on BC such that BD is 1 by 3rd of BC. Suppose if I make uh, 3 segments of BC, 1, 2, 3, one of them is BD. So it's like this. Then you need to prove 9 times 80 square is equal to 7 times AB square. 9 times 80 square is equal to 7 times AB square. It's very interesting as well. See, since this is an equilateral triangle, so if this BC is let us say A, so AC is A as well. This AB is A as well. Now let me draw perpendicular from A. Let us say E. Now perpendicular from A is altitude of the equilateral triangle, and altitude of the equilateral triangle is the median of it. We just learned about that. So in that case, what is my BE? BE is A by 2. Got it? Now given. What is given? Equilateral triangle ABC with side A in which in which BD is equal to 1 by 3 BC. To prove, you are going to prove 9 times AB square is equal to 7 times AB square. Construction, draw AE perpendicular to BC. Okay. Since AE is perpendicular to BC, it's my construction. Then I can say it is the median, which implies that PE is equal to half of BC. And that is half of BC is A, and that is A by 2. What is the reason for this? Altitude is median. 
in equilibrium triangle. Got that one? Okay. And and BD is equal to one by three BC. That means it's one by three A. That's A by three. So we got BD as A by three. Then what about? Therefore DE. Now see DE is nothing but BE minus BD. Well, D is BD minus B. So B I got A by 2 minus B D that is A by 3. Now solving this you get 3A minus 2A divided by 6. That will give you A by 6. So D is A by 6. Now consider AE B triangle. Consider triangle AEB. Apply Pythagoras theorem since AB square is equal to AE square plus BE square. This is PGT, which implies that AB is A square, AE, I don't know. So keep it A plus now B E. B E is A by 2. So you have A by 2 square. Then you have A square minus A square by 4 is equal to A square. That will give you 4A square minus A square divided by 4 is equal to A E square. That is 3A square by 4 is equal to A E square. That is 3a square by 4 under the radical is equal to ae. Therefore, ae is equal to uh, a square and root square root gets cancelled for 4, it's square root 4 is 2. So it's square root 3, square root 3 by 2a. That is your ae. What ae? Yes. Now consider this aed. Now consider triangle AED applying PGD, which implies that AD square is equal to AD square plus DD square, which implies that. AD, keep it as such, AD square is equal to, now AD we got square root 3A by 2, square root 3A by 2, then whole square, plus DE, we have a by 6, then square, which implies that AD square is equal to, now for square root 3, square and root gets cancelled, so it's 3A square by 4 plus a square by 36. Then you have 36 LCM. 36 divided by 4 is 9. 9 3 is 27. A square plus 1. 36 divided by 36 is 1. So you have A square. That will give you 28 A square. That's 28 A square by 36. Which implies that A square is equal to cancellation 4 7 4 9. So it's 7 A square by 9. 7 A square by 9. That will give you 9 times A square is equal to 7 A square. Therefore, 9 times A square is equal to 7 times A B square as. AB is equal to A and you have AB is equal to A so I can replace this A by AB so 9 times AB square is equal to 7 times AB square hence this proves your result kindly make a note 
by this alhamdulillah you are done with this chapter as well see you next time may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh